So I remember coming to Microsoft in 92 because my product fit on a floppy and I could compile it on a machine. I loved that. That was really kind of cool. It was a very interesting environment. You know, it, being a Microsoft employee in the, the early 90s uh, and the late 90s, you know, being at Microsoft wasn't really a career choice so much as it was a lifestyle statement. Back in the early 90s, Microsoft was a totally different company. You know, they, they didn't have 100,000 employees. Certainly there were thousands, but it was an entrepreneurial company. There was no process. The, there was no <laughs> compliance. There would be times when I would basically leave at 4, you know, 35 o'clock in order to, you know, see my family or something. And literally, as soon as we had dinner or whatever, I would stay up until 2 o'clock in the morning. I'd go write another three, 400 lines of code. This was a really interesting transitional time because there was no way that Microsoft could provide all of the support that was needed. The culture was very technical. People were very focused on the product. The thing that I think is often overlooked is that Microsoft realized that they needed community around these products. They wanted us to come on board to bring that people aspect. And what they really wanted us to do was create a developer community. And so we we're kind of, we were even anomalies back then because we were just, you know, we were there having fun. And it was all about make our, make a developer community and make them happy and help them to be successful. There was no dev community in, back then. I mean, let's give Microsoft credit for creating a developer ecosystem. What made it possible for us was we were just allowed to do whatever we wanted to do. I remember you know, just breaking the rule, like no rules, or if there were rules, we'd like ignore them. Well, Dee Dee, she came up with this party called GeekFest, which Microsoft said you can't have a party called GeekFest. That's just so insulting to the developer community. And Dee Dee, like really knowing the developer community, said, well, they would love to be insulted kind of like they, <laughs> by us. So she came, came up with this party called GeekFest. At that point in the industry, uh, it was made up of, of like the power people who had their exclusive parties. And the guys who were the freaking backbone of the industry were never invited to those parties. It killed me. I was like, what the hell? Why do we have these exclusive parties? And like the developers, who they're the ones who are doing all the work and like they're the ones with all the creativity, they're not included. And so that was the, what the, the, the vision behind the Geek Fest was it was the great equalizer. Visual Studio would never have gotten where it is today without the creation of a, a developer community. That was the, the magic, the success, the secret sauce that made us who we are. The big release between, two point, between Visual Basic 2.0 and Visual Basic 4.0 was VB3. And, and, and VB3 offered 16-bit uh, application development where you could compile an application as an executable, which was a really big deal at the time. I didn't touch Visual Basic until VB3, and I kind of lied my way through a job interview saying I had experience and had a, this is a testament to VB, um, had a week to learn it on the job, and I did. And it's not because I'm a super genius, I am not. It's because VB was so good, still is, but for that time, for the mid-90s, just so productive. It's so much done so quickly. Customers are familiar with double-clicking an icon to run an application, and that's what we were able to do. We were to create a compiled application that a customer could run. That was, that was the unique new thing. Now in VB4, that's when Windows 95 came out, and that's when 32-bit processing happened, and so now we can not only compile an application, but compile it to run in 32 bits, which was much, much faster. Somewhere in there, we released Visual C++ 1.0, and it provided this visual design environment, the visual composition aspect for, for C++ customers. And uh, we've seen over time that, that those two tools, Visual Basic and, and the Visual C++ tools, have gotten sort of closer in terms of the visual design abilities. And the languages themselves have evolved. You know, the, the object-oriented development capabilities that were in C++ started to migrate into Visual Basic. What you had was you had a couple of products that were sort of at their peak. Uh, VB6 was widely loved and accepted. It was used in millions of, of applications by millions of developers. Uh, C++ 6.0 is widely considered to be sort of the best of all the C++ versions that have, that have been done. I mean, you know, improvements have been attempted, but everybody seems to love that. The guys got together and said, well, you know, we have a bunch of these separate development environments. We should put them together because customers are starting to use more and more tools. And, and our research showed us, we'd done a, a lot of research that said that uh, something like 67 or 70% of developers 
used uh, more than one language to build their application. So if people were acquiring our products piecemeal, we said, well, let's bring them all together and, and, and sell an, a, a single group. Visual Studio was born of an idea that said that developers needed the aggregation of all those tools, Visual Basic, C++, Fox Pro, Office tools, as a suite. We thought that developers would want that integrated collection of, of, of software. You know, it was around the time that you, know, you, you weren't buying Microsoft Word separately anymore, right? You were buying Microsoft Office. And the same thing with Visual Studio. I'm going to buy the suite of tools, whether I use them all or not, and it's easier to just buy them all in one package. We named it Visual Studio because we thought of it as an artist's palette. You could look to the, your palette and find all the tools there. You could reach in and, and build high performance applications or highly productive applications right there from the Visual Studio. The change between 97 and then the 98, the, the 5.0 to 6.0 product range, uh, we started looking much more of how we could bring an integration together between things. So let's get to one IDE, let's make things consistent. Visual Studio 6.0 was the first integrated uh, Visual Studio environment. So now we actually built an integrated setup so that the tools worked uh, installed together as one set of, of applications and, uh, and really designed to work together, a documentation set that worked integrated so that you, know, you, you had them all in, in, in one collection. 